Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. So I'll be showing you the art of the puzzle background effect. This effect will work with almost any photo you have on hand, guaranteed, or your money back. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, <laughs> so I've opened a photo here as shown, and I'm now going to go up to my filters, which is over at the top of the screen. Um, I'm sure you already know that by now. And you're going to select texture and then texturize. Now, we're going to need the puzzle texture, which is not going to be in there. For me, it is because I already loaded it, but for you, it won't be. So, go over here to your little thing over there and select Load Texture. You should, you should find these textures in your texture uh, album or folder in your uh, Photoshop folder. If you don't have a texture folder, that's fine. I'll provide the download for this texture in the description below for those that don't have a texture folder. I didn't have one, but I made one just because I want to show you guys where it should be. So this is where it should be. It should be in here under presets, and then under presets, it'll show texture and all that. Uh, mine's in my documents because it's easier for me to find it, so that's why I put it. Okay? <laughs> but I'll provide that in the description, as I said, and you can download it there if you need to. Alright? Okay, but it does come standard with uh, Photoshop, just to let you know. It should be in your textures automatically. It's a standard thing. Okay? All right, now you can go over here and mess around with this here. Um, put it to your liking. This is all preference right here. Um, you don't have to follow my my numbers, but you can if you want to. Whatever you want for your image is fine. All right, are we almost good? We're almost good. Okay, it should be that under the top right, by the way. Yeah. All right, you should have that. That's what you should be getting. All right, you got that? Okay. Now, you could stop right there, but we're not going to because we're Jazz Tutorials, and we're going to go further. So, I'm going to go over here and select either the Magic Wand tool or the Quick Selection tool, and we're going to go and take out a puzzle piece to really make us look like a puzzle. So, go over here and select a puzzle piece of your choosing, whichever you want, and you're going to select the whole puzzle piece as shown here. Not sure if you can see my little marquee tool little marquees that are floating around, but they're there, um, if you can't really see them. Um, might take you a few minutes to get the puzzle piece actually selected, because sometimes they don't really select properly, but um, I got it right here. Okay. Just change my diameter of that thing, because I want to make it look awesome. Alright, we got it? We've got it. Okay. Now, once you have yours all selected, you're going to then do a control X, which will then cut that selection you have made out and leave you with a background color, which is whatever is in your swatches for that background. We're gonna fix that soon, so don't worry about the background color just yet. Okay, am I almost good? I think I'm good. Now I'm gonna do a Control X, Control X, and that will leave you with a background color. See, now I already have that background color that I need in my swatches, but you're gonna go over here with the little eyedropper tool and select a color on your image. Um, mine's bluish color, but yours is gonna be different, I'm sure and you want to change the background color of that all right okay so then you can put it back in place or you can just leave it out like what we do so uh, that's what it looks like in place then move it out like that okay so now with that all good and awesomefied awesomefied that's a new word by the way <laughs> okay uh you're gonna add a drop shadow and an inner glow. The inner glow should be um, a light color on your image. So I'm using like a whitish bluish color. So yeah, whitish blue, like that kind of a hue. And we're good. Okay, we are solidly good. That's pretty much um, all I'm going to show you. That's really all there is to the effect. Um, you can do more puzzle pieces if you want. Um, add text, brushes, whatever else you want to do to it. I don't care. But just make them look awesome. Okay, so that's pretty much the effect. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to comment or message me. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. And as I always say, please comment, like, and subscribe. Oh yes, subscribe, definitely.